Remember being a kid and there was always a new toy line on the shelf? That feeling is back. Alternation action figures. Humans. Hybrids. Heroes. For a new generation. Shop now at Pandemony Toys. Ultra Maximus viewers get 10% off with code ULTRAMAX. Link in the description below. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below. Hey, look, it's Merman. <laughs> Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at an alternation figure. It's El Rey. Now, I got this uh, figure and the entire Phase 1 series from Pandemony Toys. As you've seen at the beginning of my videos, uh, they are offering Ultra Maximus viewers a 10% off of purchase if you shop with them. I ordered these directly from them. They are available at uh, Big Bad Toy Store and other select uh, retailers. Uh, definitely check them out. I actually saw this series set on Facebook. There was an advert for it, and it was for Dart, and it really got me going. So um, I ended up ordering the whole set. They look really, really cool. So let's go ahead and jump in there and take a look at the packaging. So here we have El Rey in the packaging. Look at all kinds of cool. Now, if you don't know what this line of figures, it's a new line of toys that Pandemony Toys has uh, put out, and um, they're they really remind me of a cross between Masters of the Universe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and the X-Men. So the big slogan is hybrid human, hybrid animals. Uh, they're uh, good guys. It's kind of a genetic experiment. They're supposed to protect against the evil cyborgs. Um, this guy's got electronic lightning storm. He's got a flexible stingray tail, and uh, he comes with a mini comic, which is very cool. Now, he is the leader of the group. Kind of like a Leonardo, so to speak. He's got a very, like, old-school wisdom to him uh, from the cartoon. Uh, I will add links to all the cartoons in these videos so you can kind of match up to the characters. Um, he is from the Phase 1. He's a deluxe size type of uh, character. And then it's got the human hybrids. We can see up there. I love this honeycomb box. I think that looks really cool. And then the artwork wraps around. Looks really, really sick. Definitely dig that. Um, and then over here, it shows all the other figures in the wave. And it gives us a preview of the figures coming up for wave 2. So the back of the uh, box actually has a lot of detail on there. We'll get a close-up shot for you. So here we have a close-up of El Rey's write-up, if you want to pause and read that. And uh, he's got quite a few different animals. He's a human, manta ray, an electric catfish, an electric ray, uh, a sailfish, and a stingray. So he's definitely Mr. Aquatic, uh, which is kind of interesting. But he's also supposed to have the light-up effect on uh, his uh, tendrils on, on his chest. So I guess that explains all the electricity animals now, doesn't it? But yeah, definitely pretty cool. Just kind of a close-up of all the other figures in the wave. Um, looking nice. Can't wait for Phase 2 figures. And then uh, here's the artwork on the side. Looking super sick. Definitely dig that. And then there he is in the package with all these accessories. we got the comic over in the corner. Um, very cool, very fun alternation. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get El Rey out of the box and see what we think. And here we have El Rey out of the packaging. And, you know, for the most part, I really like this action figure. There are a few minor gripes I have about it. 
because I'm a toy reviewer and we have to gripe about everything, right? But uh, overall, uh, this is a pretty cool looking figure. I like the tail, how it's got this kind of rubbery, bouncy thing going on here. Um, it reminds me of, quite frankly, it reminds me of like a fish rubber bait uh, piece that uh, you would put in your tackling. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's got that kind of um, jiggly vibe that like a worm or a little fish uh, bait piece uh, for your hook would do. Which is pretty appropriate because this guy's like an electric ray and eel and all kinds of aquatic things. Now he does come with some accessories. Uh, obviously he's got his little uh, staff that I've got in his hand uh, or harpoon I guess you would call it. Um, so here this is. This is done very well. I love the shiny metal uh, color. Uh, very nice. We get some nice dark bits. Very long. Um, the cool thing is, and I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up or not, but there are barnacles on the harpoon, which I really do dig, um, and at the base as well. However, I feel like those should have been uh, painted, maybe a different color so they stick out. Of course, I know that costs uh, money. Uh, a good customizer could just kind of uh, add a little bit of coloration to it, but that would really make it stick out a bit more. I think that would be fun. He also comes with two weapons, which I really do dig. He's got this very cool kind of harpoon pistol. Um, very nice, very solid plastic bit. Uh, the end's a little rubbery tip, um, but very cool, very nice, very Batman-esque. And then he's got uh, this ridiculous bazooka. Um, I like it. It's very cool. Looks like something Deadpool would have. I don't know if it matches the character or not, though. Um, I feel like uh, uh, Quillroy would use this over El Rey here, but uh, it's definitely cool. Now, as far as articulation goes on this figure, there is no articulation. Oh, like this. Just talk about the gimmick, I guess. Um, so he does have a button here with uh, some lights on it, which I like. Some of the little electrical lights. That is cool. Probably the coolest part of the figure. Um, it looks like he should have some articulation in his head, but it does not move, and I don't want to move it and break it if it doesn't. Um, his arm moves up and down right there. Full twist, uh, there's a single joint at the elbow, and then his wrists have a twist. There is no hinge on them. Um, very sharp claws and bits all over the thing, by the way. Legs kick up uh, that far. They kick back about that far. They kick out uh, about that far, like that. Uh, no twist at the upper leg. Um, knee joints are single. Uh, right there, and then he has hinge joints at his feet, um, no twist at the calf or no ankle pivot, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, my biggest gripe on this figure is the tail piece, and I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's like this thing is not glued all the way securely. I feel like it could get ripped off kind of easy. Um, I haven't had any problems with it, but it's just not as secure as, say, like the sham figure that I got has a similar tail. Um, so I don't know if that's a QC issue uh, with manufacturing or if it's just this particular figure. I don't know. Um, but other than that, uh, the figure is pretty darn stable. And again, I just absolutely love the uh, gimmick with the lights. I think that is super cool. Uh, I wish more figures in this scale would have a gimmick like that. I mean, even at the price point, it did not change the price point, which is fantastic. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love all the detail on the figure. Um, all the sharp little fish uh, fins on there. Very cool. The detail with his mustache. He's got kind of a goofy grin, which I'm not really about. Uh, but uh, everything's painted well. I like how his little um, tentacles come up around his arms there that have the electric lights in them. The fin on his back is fantastic. Lots of different paint apps on it. Um, detail everywhere. This thing looks really, really good. Um, I, I, I think the face is a bit much though. It feels like there's a bit too much detail and the look is kind of lost on me. Uh, but um, I, I, I don't know. I guess they're trying to go with the kind of uh, Kung Fu Master look with him. Um, but uh, I, I think if it was a little cleaner. I would have been happier with the design. But the detail and paint is spectacular. 
So looking at the midsection of the figure, again, I'm digging all the detail. I like the dark blues, the light blues, the kind of swirl around his arm looks nice. Um, the body looks good. I like the belt and all the pouches. Uh, the little button is hidden well to get the lights to go. Love the hands, the webbed hands, the black claws, all the detail, very nice. The uh, uh, skin tones, the gray pants, that all looks really good. They matched the rubbery tail up really well. Uh, I think with the rest of the paint on the body, um, matches very, very nicely, uh, very cool. I just wish that that tail felt a little bit more secure, um, but uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, again, great job on the detail and paints. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure, again, uh, done pretty well. Um, I like the design of the feet. Uh, again, kind of webbed. It's got the light blue instead of dark blue like the hands, but we get those black claws. Very cool. Um, he's kind of got these black shoes. Um, I like how the pants are asymmetrical. Uh, that's a very cool. Uh, different knee joints, different bottom parts of the pants. And again, the tail, very well done. That nice kind of rubbery, bouncy uh, thing, but uh, the paint apps match up really well with the look of the figure. Uh, very nice long tail. Uh, very cool. Just overall, a very, very interesting piece. Stands well, very stable, and it's all you can ask for in legs now, isn't it? For comparison, here we have El Rey with fellow creature of the deep, the Mattel Aquaman figure from the Aquaman film, and uh, the Red Guardian from the upcoming Black Widow film. And as you can see, he's in about the same scale. He's just a little bit shorter than the Mattel and the Marvel Legends figure, which is fine. I mean, characters are going to have different heights. I definitely dig this scale. He fits very proper in about any collection that you would have up on the shelf. So is El Rey from Alternation something that you want in your toy collection? I'm going to say yes. If you're looking for a new action figure series and uh, jump in at the ground floor, I think this is a pretty good one. Uh, if you like, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Masters of the Universe, the X-Men, I think you're going to like this line, uh, DC Comics, all those type of things. Uh, they, they just hit all the points, I think, for comic book and cartoon fans. And uh, the detail is very nice. It's, you know, the, about the same price point that you would find on like a Marvel Legend or a Multiverse figure. Um, I, I think it's got better paint apps. I think the sculpt detail is better. Um, I, you know, it's an interesting design. This one's got lights in it, for goodness sake. Um, if you put lights in a Marvel Legends, that thing would jump up to at least $35. Uh, so overall, I think this is a cool line. The figures feel durable. They've got uh, great articulation. Well, I want to say great. I'm not going to lie. They've got very good articulation. It's probably at least on the Mattel level, um, you know, for like WWE and multiverse figures. Uh, not quite at the uh, Marvel Legends, but the gimmicks that it has, the paint apps and sculpt, um, outweigh that, I think. Um, so, yeah, definitely a cool figure. So there he is, El Rey from Alternation. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below.